been using Tana for a while, you know that commands are the secret to working faster. But let's be real, when you get a few command buttons on those super tags, it can get out of control really fast and suddenly being called out for being naughty by Braga. Tana commands are super powerful, but that's a problem. Naughty users, like Ev here, uses that as an excuse to make messy nodes. We can't have that. Well, that's about to change. Command menus just dropped in Tana and they're about to unlock a whole new level of productivity. No more holding back on the commands you want to build or compromising on how many commands you can have before it looks untidy. Finally, you can have all your commands and a minimal workspace. So in today's video, I'm going to show you Tana's brand new command menu feature and why it's going to speed up all your workflows. I'm going to show you my three part framework for organizing all of your commands on any super tag so you don't have random buttons everywhere. And I'm going to show you how I'm using this on my own super tag so you can see how it works in the real world. Before we dive in, if you really want to build a high performing Tana workspace, then check out my weekly Tana Toolbox newsletter. Every Sunday, I drop one simple high impact Tana workflow into your inbox. No complex systems, no overwhelming setups, just practical ways to make Tana work smarter for you. So I'll pop the link in the description and I hope that you check it out. All right, so let's look at these new command menus. So to do this, I want to show you my task super tag because it has the most commands on it. So you can see here, um, these are some of my tasks. So um, I have different commands that I can um, change statuses. So um, that's one of my favorite uses for commands. Okay. Rather than having to open up one, um, select the, the task status, I just like to say, okay, that's now in up next. Okay. And then when something's in up next, then I can either move it back to parked or I can choose a day that I want to do it on. And, and so you can see that once you start to get a lot of commands, uh, it, it does start to get a lot of buttons. Okay, so let's go into the task super tag and see what we've got. So to find your command menus, you want to go to AI and commands. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see two different menus. You're going to see the compact menu and you're going to see the full menu. Any command that shows up here is going to show up when the node is closed. Okay, so when you see it in a list like this, um, you're going to see any one of these. But if I only wanted, let's say, this waiting on command to show when the node was expanded or zoomed into, then I could move it into the full menu and it's going to be removed from there. But you'll see it when you either expand a command, okay, you've got that button, or when you zoom into a node and you've got the button there. And you'll notice now that none of these other commands show up in this expanded menu. So what this is doing is that if you don't have anything configured in the full menu, everything in your compact menu shows up everywhere. Okay. As soon as you put uh, commands down into your full menu, then only these commands down here show up in the full menu and only these commands up here show up in your compact menu. If you want them to show up in both places, you can easily reference them just by coming down here and, and just copying uh, and pasting in. And so now that will show up in both places. But what we want to do is we want to create our new command menus so that we don't have so many buttons and we can have one button or a couple of buttons to do a whole of different things. So I think about command menus in three different ways. So I like to have quick commands. I like to have date commands, especially for things like tasks. And I like to have AI commands. So I end up kind of on most super tags with three different command menus that do those three different things. Now, you might be even more minimal than I am because I'm not that minimal. Um, and you might just want to have one button for all of your commands. That's totally fine. So to create our new command menus, all you have to do is we're going to start up here in the compact menu and you want to create just write what you want this command menu to be. Okay, so we're going to call this the quick menu. All right. Now, you don't want to press convert to command node. What we want to do instead is go command K and then just go convert to group. Okay, whenever you convert something inside the compact menu or the full menu into a group, that is going to set it up as one of your command menu buttons. So if we open this, then we can move any of the commands that we want into this quick, quick menu. So I'm going to move each of my kind of uh, commands that change the status of a task into the quick menu. So we're going to come up here, move that in, move that in. And then we've got this waiting on, uh, which we're going to move in as well. OK, so now instead of seeing those command buttons, we see the quick menu, 
which now has each of our commands in it. And you can see now how you can actually add so many more commands to your super tags um, because they're all hidden away in a menu. Now you can also see here that some of these are grayed out and that is because I have a node filter on some of these commands. So uh, for instance, for up next, this command only shows if the task status is incoming or parked. So that's why you can't see up next because task status here is next up um, rather than one of these others. But if I choose part, that would change the status to part and then also it will now gray out part. So you can see how this is such a quicker way to change a task status rather than open it up, change this, go to next up and then close it back up. All I have to do is go to the quick menu and I can change this as quick as that. Now, if you're like me and you don't like names on buttons because they take up too much space, you can also add um, icons here, okay? So uh, what I like to do is um, come to the node itself, okay? You can click on icon. Now, I like for this one the pin, okay? Oops, where's pin? Oh, here we go. Okay, and now you can see that you've got um, the quick menu and because we have quick menu written here it doesn't show up here but when you hover over it you can see quick menu okay so when you add an icon you it removes the name uh, from the button and just has the icon okay so that's the quick menu I put in the quick menu any type of functions that I want to change. So fields that I want to change, if I want to add categories to things, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, because this is a task super tag, I want to add another menu, which is kind of a scheduling menu. So I can put all of these super tags in and hide them all away. So we're going to create a new group. So I'm going to call this um, schedule. And then again, we're going to go command K and then convert to group. And we'll open up the schedule and we will just put all of these away. And as I put them away, you can see that they are immediately freeing up this super tag and making it look super minimal. Okay, so um, now we have a quick menu and we have a schedule menu. And again, um, because uh, I want this to look really minimal, I'm going to click on schedule and add an icon. And for this one, oh, it's already out of the calendar, which is beautiful. So now I have quick menu and schedule. And if I come in here, I can see these. Now you can see that when these come up in the full menu, they do come up with the names. Okay. Now, if you don't want that easy, okay, you can also just remove these. Okay. Remove the names so that you only have the icons and just go command K and description and you can write the name in here. Okay, so description. And then they still show up when you hover over just with those tooltips so you can remember what they are. And then the third kind of menu that I've added to a lot of my super tags is an AI command menu. So anytime I'm using AI commands, I want uh, a menu to show up that has all of those commands in them. So my task super tags, I don't really have many AI commands, um, but in my meetings I do. So if I uh, come in here, you can see I've got commands for meeting summary, meeting tasks, preparing the agenda, follow up items, that kind of thing. So we're going to clean that up and put it all into one. So you want to come to your meeting in super tag, go to configure. Then we want to come down here to AI and commands. Now you can see that I've got uh, things in, in the compact and the full menu here. Okay. So these ones I'm going to simply um, put into my quick menu. Okay. So we're going to convert this to a group. And you can see how easy, if you already have commands, how easy this is just to restructure and get everything kind of hidden away. Okay. And then in my full menu, I'm going to come here and I'm going to have AI commands. I'm going to convert this to a group and then we're going to move all of these in. Move them all in. Okay. And again, I want uh, to create a icon for this button. So I'm going to come here and I like to use so I, I don't use the bot, um, but you can if you like. I, used to, I like to use the lightning. Um, and then we're just going to delete this and add it as the description. 
And you can see now that we have all of these here. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that you can create groups within groups, okay? So if you wanted to create um, kind of uh, meeting agenda commands and then meeting follow-up commands, we could do that. So if I come here underneath, um, I can say uh, agenda and then convert this to a group. Okay, and I can put my agenda in here. Uh, if I want follow up, I can convert that to a group and I can have the follow up tasks in here. And so you can see how uh, you can create a whole lot of different commands in here um, that are very, very easy to kind of navigate and, and work very quickly. And so as you can see, this is a great way to have as many commands as you need that are going to make it easy and fast for you to work in Tana, but also be able to hide some things away so that you can keep working and it looks nice without a lot of buttons. Command menus are going to change everything about how you use Tana, and I can't wait to see what you build with them. And if you want to go even crazier with commands, then I actually created a full video on my favorite task super tag commands right here. And don't forget, if you like this video, then you'll love my Tana Toolbox newsletter. So check that out in the description box below. And while you're at it, hit the like and subscribe button so you get more Tana content like this in your feed.